Rusk disagrees with you, and he was the Secretary of State at the time, but that's fine. The communist nations have exploited the turmoil of a time of transition in an effort to extend the communist control into other areas of the world. His thoughts on Dean Rusk and America's involvement in Vietnam, I know I said nothing about that. Exactly. While still Russia Gators floating around on the internet, it is high time that we bid farewell to the last of the Russia Gators. Special Counsel John Durham's report on the Russia collusion fiasco deserves more attention than it is getting, and its critics are dismissing it for one big reason. The 306 pages describe the great failure of, of the original Special Counsel Robert Mueller. Mr. Mueller was named Special Counsel in May 2017 after Democrats and media claimed that the former president fired FBI Director Jim Comey to stop the Bureau's investigation into the Russia collusion tale. Mr. Mueller hunted for evidence that the prior president was a Russian mole but couldn't find it. Now the Durham report makes clear that the Mueller team failed to investigate how the collusion probe began in the first place, as it, that it was in fact a dirty trick by the Clinton campaign, and how the FBI went along for the ride. The report includes evidence that those engaged in the FBI's initial crossfire hurricane probe and Democrat attorneys used their positions on the Mueller investigating team to cover up the FBI mess. Among Mr. Mueller's initial hires were the FBI agent Peter Stork, FBI analyst Brian Oteen and the FBI lawyer Lisa Page, all at the epicenter of the crossfire fiasco. Of Mr. Mueller's 18 attorneys, several worked in the Obama Justice Department during the crossfire probe, including Andrew Weissman, a highly partisan Democrat who attended Hillary Clinton's 2016 election night party. They had a strong incentive to hide the truth. One telling example, the Durham Report documents the Mueller's team's handling of Charles Dolan, a Democrat who was a source for at least one of the false allegations about the former president in Russia. The FBI crossfire team was told in September 2016 by Christopher Steele that Mr. Dolan had information related to the infamous dossier, yet the team never followed up. Agents on Mr. Mueller's team later realized Mr. Dolan's importance was pushed to interview him, but they were blocked. One agent told Durham investigators that he was confident Mr. Ortin told him to hold off interviewing Mr. Dolan. Mr. Ortin said he didn't recall. The agent also recalled a meeting at which Mr. Weissman was present, and the agent raised the Dolan information but received very little feedback. Another agent and an analyst also pushed the Dolan news in a briefing that included Mr. Ortin and Gene Reed, an attorney who once worked for the Clinton Foundation and tried to open a case. Austin was instructed the analyst to cease all research and analysis related to Dolan. The report says the analyst, the analyst told the Durham team that she believed the decision to block a probe of Mr. Dolan was politically motivated, as it ran counter to the narrative that Mr. Mueller's special counsel investigators were cultivating, given that Dolan was a former Democrat political operative. The analyst also relayed that at various times re-opined in some that there was no longer a need to investigate the dossier because the reports were not within the scope of a Mueller special counsel mandate. Mr. Ortin says the Mueller leadership in September 2017 told the team to cease work on attempting to cooperate the dossier. In an understatement for the ages, the Durham report notes that this directive was somewhat surprising, given that Director Mueller's broad mandate was to investigate, among other things, Russian election interference in the 2016 presidential election. This refers to the Durham's findings that Russians may have compromised Mr. Steele's sources before he even started writing his dossier. All of this suggests that Mr. Mueller's probe was a much of a cover-up as an attempt to find evidence of collusion, and it vindicates the view this paper expressed in October 2017 that Mr. Mueller was a former FBI director should have resigned as special counsel because he lacked the proper distance from the Bureau. At the time, any skepticism about the Mueller probe or the Russia collusion narrative was denounced as an apology for the prior president. The Durham report shows how wrong the rest of the media corps were. The Durham probe would never have been necessary if Mr. Mueller and his team had done an honest job. That's bullshit.